All right, welcome to Smokey Approved Korea. I'm your boy, Journalist, and on this one, we are here to check out Trivia, Just Dance. I believe this is now the final record uh, that we have to do so we can watch Hobie Palooza. So uh, today, well, not today, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, uh, first half of Hobie Palooza should be out. So this should be the last one, unless somebody tells me I've missed a song uh, before then. So, uh, yeah, make sure... Uh, after watching this, if I if I got it right, let me know. I can go straight to Hobie Palooza. If not, tell me the other song I'm missing. We'll do that one, and then we'll Hobie Palooza. That is my current trajectory. This is my focus for the BTS music currently is to get through these songs, then get to Hobie Palooza, and then we can start going back through all the other stuff we're working on. That said, thank you guys for joining me. Please hit that like, subscribe. Patreon's in the description, and let's get into this. See, that's not fair. It's not fair. It's on Bang Ten TV. That shit should have had what I needed. The English subs, cause man don't know Korean. Cause I don't want to watch the performance. Oh my niggas down six, six one three seven for the win. Shout out to them, man. Give me the lyrics. Give me the lyrics. Yeah, make a good song, and I'm on the dumb. When I can't let it dance on shy, good look, give my moon and dumb. Then slide and then we shy. Good pony gets so good. My girl to go, got to get stretching. Get down the pool, you're too many mamas from getting dumb. Who has no way, yes, so sad. I have to say, uh, I don't remember the song. I want to say Stigma. But when I asked about the gender neutral pronouns, I'm very glad I asked that question and we had this conversation because we've actually had times now in writing sessions that we've had on a couple of songs over the past couple of months or however long it's been since that, that reaction and that discussion where I've had to explain to them the usage of why we might need to use a gender neutral pronoun pronoun in a song or the ability to do so and why you might do it. And some songs have now been switched to gender neutral pronouns. And the reason I say this is this is a gender neutral pronoun that he keeps using. He keeps using you instead of she, her, them, they. Well, yeah, she and her. So this is where this you makes it to where motherfucker be talking about anybody. This is somebody, a song that now can be lifted and in your mind you can place it on a relationship. You can place it on a friendship. You can place it on a friendship that builds before a relationship. It allows the song to go to so many different places. And it's something I didn't truly get until a couple of writing sessions ago and then just continually interacting with BTS music and seeing the usage of gender neutral pronouns. I even in myself have changed a couple of bars in certain songs where I'm just like, just do you instead of she. Or like instead of her, put you like just switch it. It still fits the, the like the timing, so it doesn't fuck up your like your verse. But now it does make it ambiguous on what we are discussing, which is kind of fun, at least for me. Side note, tangent, but yeah, this this made me think of that. I, I just wonder, wonder, wonder. I really wonder, wonder, wonder. Just dance. Yes, sir. Really you can sample this part. Oh, if this was a live cuz. They well, I know he's gonna do this on the Western call. I see why he did this live. Jesus Christ, you'll break somebody's neck with this. Ah, oh, the head bob. This is this should be illegal because it's so dangerous how hard you could head bob on this bitch. Get 
All right. I want to say it went J Hope. I want to say the like two lines before this hook. I want to say that's Sugar's voice. And then this is my little nigga singing currently. Or I'm I'm tripping. It's my little nigga or it's Jimin. Let's get it on Broadway. Put a more girl chin and gum shin, dang it to him. Bah, and I didn't don't doubt. Little out, I got the jig on them. I get so eon. I got go ship and girl. Too much of a head to shin her. So you're my love, you're my love. That's why I like. I'm getting out of me. Do I know why I'm getting? I would not have, based on production and just the title, been like, oh yeah, like. This is an intimate song. This is a very intimate song. It is the getting to know a person in a way that is just not based on sex. It's, it's like really getting to know a person's heart, mind, like mind, soul, like getting to know a person. That is one of the most intimate things that you will ever do as a human being walking this earth. And it does has nothing to do with sex. And that is really fucking dope because at least to me, some of the best relationships I've had with women are ones where I just learn about her, find out about who she is as a person, find out about them, the things they like, the things that make them happy, that kind of stuff. That's the stuff that makes me be like, yeah, like, this was dope. Like, I'm very happy I've had this interaction with you. Like, even if we don't continue to have a relationship years later, I've been able to meet and know that there's a really dope person walking the face of this earth. And that's what this um, song's like, to me at least. And then the Just Dance is kind of like a metaphor of just like the back and forth men and women have. Yeah, somebody's neck's gonna get broken. Jesus Christ, this, this is dangerous. They got more tunes like this. This is not my bag, but this is the type of shit that I'm like, it's undeniable. So it's not my bad because I didn't grow up listening to this shit like this. But is it the type of shit that I'd be like, ah, we should do something like this when we're making like tunes like a culture clan where I'm like, yo, that dancey joint where they do this thing. Can you do that dancey bit inside my rap tune? Because nobody's doing shit like that. And like my brain now has heard these things and they like they converge and we can do that in music, especially in like hip hop. I could take whatever the fuck I want. It's not hip hop. I carte blanche. So, when I hear shit like this, I'm like, ah, this is such a good tune for, like, the genre it comes out of. But then I'm just inspired to use it in so many other ways. This is a, not finished the song. This is a rarity, especially because I don't do a lot of BTS other music currently. Not yet. This is, I didn't even finish the song. I can say it's a nine. I don't wish I wrote it, but goddamn it, it's that good. It's that good. And, again, beautiful sun is shining. It's such a beautiful day outside. There's little white Scottish kids playing right outside right here. I can see them. They're playing football right now. They're doing Rochambeau to see who's going to get the ball. I'm, I'm, I might as well be a commentator. I wish you guys could see it, but they're really playing football right now. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I wish you could see it. The niggas is going hard. <laughs> I, I gotta give credit where it's due. Also, this is not easy to do. The whole baby, baby, baby over thing and making it all line up the way he did. It's very, it seems like it's simple, but using repetition in the way that he's just done it is a very hard task. Very hard task, and it's done well as well. So, 
Tune, tune, silent. So now I've kind of covered everything I wanted to say about the lyrics already. It's a vibe. I could be completely wrong in my interpretation. Somebody else let me know. Uh, Just Dance, tune actually. Fucking ridiculous record that we played live as well. Like, ah, oh, the break. Ah, oh, the break is going to be ridiculous. I have no idea what it's going to do. This is also why I said I'm really happy or I wanted to do the music that I've missed first before watching the performance because I feel like the level of performance I'm going to be able to watch with also knowing the songs I'm hearing it's going to make it so much more enjoyable because it's like oh I think I'm about to do this it's about to go up versus I'm be sitting there if I hadn't done this like well what's this one what does the, the studio version sound like what's the difference now I actually know the difference and be able to sit through it and I just really I prefer to enjoy concerts that way that's why uh, like going to the Kendrick concert I went to in Glasgow uh, earlier this year, it made it that much better because I knew all the records that were coming. So when you used to hear that, yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, who's the man down? Where you from? Like you just start going off. It's ridiculous. So I feel like, like granted, I don't know the songs that well, but it just I can now have that experience with this watching the performance. That's how I'm gonna go through it. That said, though. That's it for me on this one. Thank you all for your time. Please do hit that like, subscribe. Patreon's in the description. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.